I'm Mark Secchia, and this is Silva. Welcome to Silent Q, episode two, as we like to say, episode two. Welcome to episode two of the Silent Q. Thank All you right. for participating. So Rosalind Bliss. Yes. Current mayor of Grand mm -hmm. Rapids. Thank you for being on our show. Yeah. I'd like to know your middle name. Oh, my middle name is Carrie. Rosalind Carrie Bliss. And it's spelled, I actually like how it's spelled because it's spelled C-A-R-E-Y. Oh, wow. Yeah. A person I, who cares. I know. I like that. Can I just call you Jocelyn? No. How about Lil Roz? Nope. Nope. It's going straight up. <laughs> Boy, she's a tough one. Uh, and I apologize about the cold in here. No, that's okay. I wonder okay. if we can see our breath. Hey, we're in Michigan. I grew up in the UP. This, I, this, is, this, this is This is normal fine. for you? This is normal, yes. Speaking of weather, yeah. we were talking about it this morning. What is the difference between El Nino and El Nina, or do you not see gender? You know, I wanted to be a meteorologist. I should actually know that. Let's see. One is because the... Wait, define you wanted to be a meteorologist. Did you study it or is it just a I childhood did study dream? it. And you don't remember the difference? I know. Wait. I had quite a few classes until I got to climatology and I'm like, this is not for me. Isn't that where because you the do water... hair? <laughs> no. Oh, that's cosmetology. Cosmetology. Cl okay. Close, but you don't have to take calculus <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone here know the difference? Between, well, Nobody yeah, knows it's, it. it's uh, one is the temperature of the water, right? It's hotter, and, and the other one, it's colder. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's it's related to the water temperature in the ocean. Former cosmetologist. Am I right? Yes. Solid. If you were mayor, what would you do with this building? Uh, well, I am mayor, but, you know, if I was mayor of this building, I would do exactly what you're doing. Solid. I love your idea. Oh, thank you. I thank can't you wait. Much. Now, a mayoral question. Okay. What accomplishments are you most proud of? And mm. is it the empty bike lanes or something less impactful? <laughs> can tell you you're, you're your father's son. Oh, yeah. I got that one from you because you told me how much he used to stay on you. Oh, my goodness. Every time he talked to me, he complained about bike lanes. It's hard for me to pick one thing. I'm proud of so many things we've done in the city. Transit and economic development and parks and trees. What warms my heart is when I talk to people who have moved back to Grand Rapids. And they say to me, 10 years ago, I never would move back. And now I love this city. Are you um, baiting me? Well, you know. Because that's exactly what happened to us. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, you're one of the people. <laughs> <laughs> that when you said it, it like warmed my heart. I've known your parents for a long time. And I know how much they really wanted you closer. So. Well, not many people know that <clears throat> Peter Secchi learned everything he knew about business, philanthropy, and politics from me. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, you never heard that. I know I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. I'm sure you've worked a lot with him. You got yeah. a funny story or something that you remember about him? I was at a gala uh, talking to your mom and dad and Brian was with me. That's her significant other. My, yes, he's lovely. Um, and this couple came up to us and your dad says, oh, and meet our mayor. And the guy puts his hand out to shake Brian's hand. And your dad, it was hilarious. Um, your dad like swaps him on the chest and was like, no, dumb, <laughs> blank, blank, blank. Not him, it's her. What, you don't think a woman can be a mayor? And it was, it was hilarious. It was so funny. I, I thought the guy was going to fall over. What cafeteria do you think serves better food? The state senate or the state house cafeteria? Ugh. I like sack lunches. <laughs> I would not go to either. Fair enough. Good, good dodge. <laughs> Am I too tall to be mayor? No. Am I too short to be mayor? Obviously not. Yeah. There's a group of people that we learned yesterday that you and former mayor George Hartwell got together and endorsed David Legrand. Yes. We would like to coin this power group as La Blisswell. What do you think of that? <laughs> I love it. We're, we can go with that one? I think so. Do we get a commission each time? A little royalty oh. fee each time it's used in public? Maybe. Hashtag. We're going to make dozens of dollars. <laughs> now, this is a little segment that we call... <laughs> Some of your detractors say yeah. that your style most resembles mm. Kwame Kilpatrick. Oh. Absolutely nobody said that. that okay, was I was going to say... Just that. a little lead into this. Okay. <laughs> but we did find a little something online. We did a little diligence. Right. Have you read it. See okay. if any of that All you right. want to read. This was on a blog that we found out there by a person who nobody knows who it is. So it's one of those keyboard warriors. And we're wondering <laughs> if, there's, if there's any of that that you would like to read on camera. 
Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. I, I Have remember you seen this. that before? No, but it's funny because I was on the commission when, let's see, what can I read? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not sure I can read this. Out Nothing long. in there. <laughs> I mean, so a long time ago, I stopped reading comments on. Um, and your anymore. mental health improved greatly, but it is about <laughs> mental health awareness. Yes. And darn, I was hoping to get her to read a little bit, little bit of it. At least, let me at least see what, what he calls you. I think I was called a hoe. So th this is before we moved back, but we had a Be Best initiative for, was it improving mental health or mental health awareness? We, there's a whole campaign in a nonprofit called Be Nice, and it's actually for suicide prevention. Uh, and so obviously mental health is closely tied to that. And so I've been a big supporter. I actually, uh, fun fact, uh, for the Be Nice campaign to help them raise money, one time I was a celebrity bartender. What? at a uh, little pub. I'm so when you when you open up your restaurant and bar, if you ever want to do a fundraiser and have a celebrity bartender, I would happily Sweet join you. Ding it right now. <laughs> That's perfect. I was a bartender in college, so it was kind of fun. And so as part of this initiative, somehow a disgruntled person tied this into less and less nude bars in Grand Rapids and he went online talking about how upset he was that there's less nude bars here. And my favorite line in all this is, you know, Grand Rapids used to have several strip clubs, and today there's only two left. Muskegon's Odyssey is the only solo, full, nude club in West Michigan. And by the way, Muskegon's a very shitty town. And for some reason, this gentleman doesn't make the connection between having that and not having that. So we thought this was, so, and it's very long. I know you can see on paper, he was, he was a very angry individual. I remember that uh, ordinance when we passed it. I was the only female on the city commission. And I had really? all of these men coming to public safety, like, and literally all of their comments were directed at me. And I was only, I was, this was early in my career. So I was 32. It was quite an experience, I have to say. And you only had one vote in all this. I had one vote. There were six other people on the commission. <sighs> but because I was a female, skin. a lot of the negative comments were targeted towards me. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Ugh. We would like to know. Yeah. We probably figured we couldn't ask you what your favorite restaurant is, because that shows a little bit too much of favoritism. Where was the last place you went out for a sit-down meal? Oh, I just went out uh, the other night to Donkey on Wealthy Street. Mm -hmm. It was actually um, to meet with someone about some federal issues. Well, somewhere I think we have cold bagels. It's a little chilly in here. We'd love for you to do your final State of the City address here. <clears throat> and we have an awesome room upstairs that we yeah. hope to do concerts and events in that can hold up to 1,400 people. Awesome. And would it help get you here if we called the room just bliss? Of course, that would be lovely, but uh, not necessary. <laughs> I love this space. And, Conflict of interest, maybe? Well, yeah, maybe. Um, I So since I've been mayor, every year I move around my State of the City address. And I love getting out of kind of your typical spaces and highlighting great new places. And so when I walk through your building uh, during Art Prize, I thought, oh my goodness, I would love to do my last State of the City speech here. Last one. Is it a fancy group? Do you need water, electricity, heat? Uh, we might need a little bit of heat and electricity. We'll have to do hot toddies maybe, I don't know. Fair enough. Would you support us on the menu having a, what do we call it, a dish of bliss? Oh, <laughs> that's a, uh, and what would it be? I, oh, a, oh man. What's that's your go-to? Chicken wings <laughs> or cheese curds. <laughs> Those are nice. Hometown too. girl and a little, nice with a little Wisconsin <laughs> sprinkled on top. Uh, would you have any last messages or thoughts for our viewer? I'm sure my mom's going to watch this, so we're going to have at least one person watching this. Okay. Any thoughts or messages for anybody else that stumbles upon this on the interweb? I would tell them they need to come to Silva. Yeah. You heard it from the mayor. Thank yeah. you very much for You're attending welcome. episode D of yeah. our podcast, Silent Q. Yeah. Just vision it. I know there's a lot of dust. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. What is that? I'm Bagman. What'd you say? Bag man. Is he saying, ah. Batman? Is he saying Batman? I'm not saying Batman. I'm saying Bagman because of the bag. Bagman, what is that? This is stupid. You smell nice. Mm. Is that Armani? 
Is that the code? Mm, I like the code. Da, da, da.